Hey everyone, welcome back to Blasely Acres. I'm Joe. Um, it's a kind of a nasty, rainy, cold fall day. End up knocking all of our leaves off the trees already. Um, so today I am over in the butcher shop working on the interior walls. <clears throat> uh, I'm trying to get them done. The only interior walls that are going in here are the office and the utility room everything else is going to be open um just kind of so we can switch and change things as we want to grow so yeah uh that's what we're doing today hopefully you guys stick with us and see the final result So as you guys can see, I am working on the interior walls. Um, these walls are eight foot high. We're putting in uh, <clears throat> right here where this wall is laying is gonna be the utility room. And right where the front door is here, that is going to be the office. So what I'm doing is framing up. I've got one long wall that's gonna go across here and three cross walls. Uh, each room's roughly 10 by 11 or so like that, something like that. Uh, this is gonna have house all of our, um, our pressure tank, hot water tank, utility, the panel box. And we'll probably have some extra storage for stuff in there, hoses, stuff like that. And then the office is gonna be where all of our um, internet and the whole nine yards comes in. All of our paperwork can go through there. People can come through the front door right into the office, fill out cut sheets, uh, pay and pick up for their orders and stuff. So that's what I'm trying to get accomplished today. I'm not doing a double uh, bottom plate on this like I did on the outside walls. Just these are inside walls. They're not holding any structure or nothing. I am gonna put a platform on top and use that for more storage for boxes, bags, etc. cetera. Um, but it's not load bearing. It's not gonna be holding snow or like the weight of the animals or anything like that. So we decided to go, originally I was planning on doing two by four walls in there. 
but we have had uh, we had plenty of two by sixes to frame these in, so we just went with two by six walls. It takes up a little bit of extra space on the inside, but not too much, and it's we've already paid for it, so why not use it? So I'm going to get back to work on these. I got uh, the first section framed up here and got the, the jack studs and king studs put in for the door. I'm going to be uh, cutting and building the headers probably later. I'm going to try, before I have to take off here in a little bit, uh, I'm going to try getting at least one or two more sections uh, framed up. So you notice I'm using screws for this. Uh, the outside walls I use nails. I prefer to use nails because when stuff flexes and stuff, Screws have a tendency, they hold tighter, but they shear off a lot easier than nails. Nails will just bend and flex with the building. Um, but I don't have any free uh, 16 penny nails to frame this. And I don't have the nail guns that I was using before right now. So this is what I have on hand. This is what I'm using just to get the job done. same way usually when you frame you want your crown up uh, flooring walls I I put the crown up and usually put the crown out on the outside part of the wall uh, this is gonna have all steel on the inside of these walls here so this is gonna be purling on the outside all the way around and possibly inside the utility room also I'm not sure what we're gonna do for the office so yeah, that's what I was doing. I was just crowning it, making sure that they're all the right way. Uh, we did. We are using pressure treated for the bottom sill plate still, and I did get some uh, sill sealer, the foam, uh, to put underneath it before I stand them up. And then these are just going to get tacked on down into the floor, and they'll all be attached into the main wall over here. across on top um, it's for holding the ceiling but I'm also putting a storage platform on top of this so I'm going to run bottom into each other this way and put uh, small scab pieces in just to hold across that wall will actually hold that 
It doesn't actually need the scab pieces. I'm just doing it for the extra strength. Uh, you won't see it. It'll be covered up. And then I'm running on the end here across. I'm actually running these all the way to the edge here. And I'm doing that because we're going to be doing steel inside here. Uh, so I'm just putting that out there so it saves a little bit of time over instead of putting double them up to get the purlin for the steel on the outside edge there. I got, you can see them in there. The center is not attached yet. Um, I still gotta cut some blocks and whatnot, but running out of batteries, it's dark, it's cold, and I'm gonna go inside, get warmed up and spend some time with the family. Uh, but this is what I was talking about right here. The uh, actual end board on that, I brought them studs, or the joists, all the way out to the edge and I put that on there because they're going to be putting two by six purlins on the walls all the way around here for the steel that's running in here so I just figured I'd save them a step because if I would have put that flush and had it sitting here uh, they would have had to add another board on top of that to bring it out for their trim work in the steel. Um, on the front here what I ended up doing um, I did the but same I, uh, I doubled it up so I could use this board to set that one on because there's nothing holding it. Uh, I just thought it would be a little bit sturdier that way. Um, they're going to have to cut a piece of trim around the door here for their trim work, but not a huge deal. If I get time, I'll do that for them. But it's not bad for a few hours of work on the weekend. Um, so we've got three, they're just shy of 10 foot walls in here. And then... Uh, we're just shy of 24 foot, the full length. The office, uh, we made just a tad bit bigger, just for the over, you know paperwork and desk, and we want to be able to have customers come in and fill out paperwork in there, fill out the cut sheets, and be able to pay and stuff, so we're trying to make it spacey. And I still have a good but size utility, utility room. is roughly 10 foot by 10 foot on the inside, and the office is about 10 foot by 11 and a half foot on the inside. Uh, so we should have plenty of space in both areas and up above here like I said before is all storage for extra bags, boxes, uh, etc. parts for machines, stuff that can handle uh, the moisture from cleaning but we also have an exhaust fan up here uh, it's a smaller one but it should be able to pull out the moisture because uh, as we start, it's just going to be pretty much me cleaning and Danae might help if she's around. So we shouldn't have a ton of hot, you know, foggy moisture in here so, right off the bat anyway. Yeah, this is where I'm going to end this video. We've got a lot accomplished this weekend. We still have a long ways to go. So if you guys could, like, comment, subscribe, share, and ring that notifications bell if you guys could. Uh, hope to see you on the next one.